There's a place where visitors can get not only an overview of the Mississippi River, but of this state's history and colonial past, as we discovered at the Randolph County Museum and Archives in Chester. It's a county where Illinois' history began, a place France once called its own and whose lands were claimed by the state of Virginia. Today, several flags fly next to the new county courthouse, representing those who once lay claim to this region. It's a region whose history is retold in this building, which was once an annex to the original courthouse. The museum uh, has artifacts and pictures which cover over 300 years. Since this uh, was uh, the biggest settlement of the Illinois area, the Fr of the French area in, in Illinois, we ha it, was, it always had the court records. So we have thousands of documents from the 1700s which are known as the Kaskaskia Manuscripts. We have some records when it was part of the Indiana Territory from 1800 to 1809. Some of those are at Vincennes also. Uh, then we have all the records, the court records from 1809. And this would be your court cases, you know, everyday thing, estates to be settled, mortgages that uh, needed to be paid or were forfeited, or uh, any of the usual things to which, and of course it's all handwritten. In these records are recorded some of the actions of Illinois' future leaders, such as Pierre Menard, who later became the state's first lieutenant governor. And he paid a, a dollar for a license permit to uh, run his ferry that was in 189. And that is the, the, would be considered a huge desk now. It's the land desk from Kaskaskia. And after George Rogers Clark captured Kaskaskia in the American Revolution, and and people started coming in and staking out claims on land. This was the land desk that was used to record those. For a short time, Kaskaskia was the capital of this newly formed state of Illinois. From that era is this lock and key from the home of Shadrach Bond, Illinois' first governor. And there are other items on display, reminding visitors of the rich and varied history of this region. One of, the, one of the larger items that we have in the museum is the wine press, and this came from the Wine Hill community, uh, from that township. Uh, when the Germans started immigrating into the area, uh, they found that the southeastern part of Randolph County had hills and soil which were very much like what they had left in Europe from and conducive for the wine. We have the medicine chest that was in the office of a Dr. Fritchie and it has the circular uh, ca uh, shelves in it and of course at that time when you went to the doctor you didn't need another tri trip to the pharmacy. You, you were able to get your medicine whatever you needed and so he had to have shelves to hold all those little, little bottles of pills and whatever he added to them. Also on display is this electric chair from the Menard State Penitentiary, last used in 1938 for the execution of a female and her accomplice. She decided that on her brother's wedding day that if he married, she would not receive his $5,000 insurance, his wife would surely get it. So she conspired with two young men who were evidently under, the, under her influence and killed him. When people come here, they can, it quickly goes through about 300 years of Illinois history where Illinois actually began with uh, the top floor of the courthouse, of the new courthouse, is a rotunda uh, with glass all around and gives uh, just a wonderful view of uh, Kaskaskia, uh, Missouri, uh, the city of Chester. Um, just complete 360 degree circle and it's just a magnificent view. 
Chester is also famous as the hometown of Elsie Seeger, the creator of the Popeye comic strip. It's reported that he based a number of his characters on local town folks. There's also a museum in town dedicated to him and his creations. 